Hello guys, this is Pastor Vivian again. I got cut off. Uh, it looks like a potato, but this is a, a turnip bottom. These are the peels from the turnip bottom. Okay, um, had some kind of problems with it. So, and these are the turnip bottoms that we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. I cut up. I cut my turnip bottoms up. Okay. They're not, uh, they're not real hard to cut up. Uh, I cut them up in cubes so they can evenly cook. Okay. See? Can you see it? Let me see that. I want you to see it. Let me pull you back over and let's, let's turn you this way and you that way. There you go. Then I just cut them up. Y'all be careful with a knife. Knife is not forgiving. Okay. If you're not somebody that's, um, and I'm putting them all in there. So I've already prepped the greens. These are my turnip bottoms. See? Turn the bottoms. That's good focus. Okay. I'm gonna come over here. This is my turn the bottom. Turn my water. Turn my my. Get the water boiling. And here are the greens that I already did a video to show you guys how to uh, pick the greens, how to wash them, and everything. These are uh, turnip greens, and we have turn the bottoms. Okay. So come with me. Yay. So in this pot, so in this pot is, oof, let's see if we can get awesome. There we go. They ain't trying to see me. We all want to see the food. So in this pot, we have um, I think it's um, we have four 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 uh, turkey tails, the large turkey tails. I showed you guys what they look like. We have four of them. We have two, uh, no, we have one teaspoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one, t I know I didn't say that right. Worcestershire. I think that's the way to say it. Okay, you guys know. And I bought the HEB brand. I didn't use, um, I didn't use anything special. It's just the HEB brand. Okay, one table, did I say teaspoon? One tablespoon. So we have one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, uh, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of the better than bouillon roasted chicken. Can you see that? One tablespoon of better than bouillon roasted chicken. And uh, I didn't add any salt because the better than bouillon has salt in it and the smoked meat. So I have two large turnip bottoms that I've cut up in cubes. I have four bunches of turnip greens um, that's in these bags. And I am waiting. This is my spoon. I'm waiting on. I want you to see the consistency. See that? And that. And see the meat. It has meat. Most people don't know it has meat, bone, and um, fat. That right combination of uh, the right ratio uh, of it. Okay? Let me see if I can turn it this way so you can see. It doesn't have a lot of water in this pot because your greens make its own water. Okay? Your greens make its own water. So I just got... Uh, Roughly about two cups of water. Because the green's gonna make his own water. I'm gonna let this thing down. That's those sweet potato pies over there. We gotta make three more and then we'll have the six. Okay? And then we're also gonna make uh I promised a, a gentleman that I would make some oyster um seafood cornbread dressing. 
so I'm going to have to do that. Uh, however, I'll make a little small one. And I'm actually going to make a hand cornbread dressing for my household for uh, Thanksgiving this year, 2021. Yes! Um, so I love the turn of greens guys. Let me tell you something. I, I'm gonna have to wash my hands because I don't play the touch your face thing So I have I'm also going to do some collard greens because In my garden I have so many collard greens because the cool the cold the cool weather hit it and the collard greens, collard greens sit up like this like yes when uh when the cool um uh, when the cool weather hit it i have this on i'm trying to bring it to a boil before i start putting the greens in so it makes them um shrink faster and i'll slow cook them normally like if it's a regular every day um and i want to cook things i'll put them in the instant pot so that it doesn't take as much time However, for Thanksgiving, I have the time, so I'm going to show you how. If you may not have an Instant Pot, and then you may have one, but want to cook it like the way Grandma or the way your mama did it, and um, then it'll be that way. I, I really don't know what y'all call your grandmother. I call mine's Grandma. Okay? Uh, so, I'm going to do it. That We'll have the turnip greens and the turnip bottom. Oh, and this combination, whoo! game changer and i'm gonna tell you something somebody asked me what did i do different with my greens uh when i cooked them and it was that i went and bought the heb the the uh that cost one dollar uh from heb uh here in houston i bought that and it was amazing let me get the greens okay and wash my hands somebody was counting to say what are you doing y'all when I really get into it when it's time to make these um when it's time to make the uh the cornbread dressing I'm, I'm going again but there will be no nails on my hands uh, even though I wash my hands all the time and I will take off all jewelry uh, probably not my bracelet because I haven't taken this bracelet off. Sad but true. I haven't taken this bracelet off since March of 2020. But I do take it in um, the, uh, the, um, like the Clorox, the Lysol wipes and wipe it and stuff to make sure I don't have any, you know, crud in it. Okay. Let's start off. Here's the first bag of greens. Y'all. You talk can you can see, right? Can you see? Okay. So let's put these in. And I told you guys I do not um let me see if I can. Okay. I do not um you see, those greens are gorgeous. These greens are so fresh. And what I like about HEB, too, is HEB goes straight to, like, local farmers and get their uh, vegetables and stuff. And you get, like, that's why I go there and get, uh, a lot of people say, don't do it. Uh, I'll go to farmer's market, too. But I go to HEB a lot of times to get my local honey when I can't get to farmer's market. See if we can get them all out. My mama <laughs> used to tickle me. Well, I think about it as tickle me now. It's kind of funny to me now. May not be funny to you, but it's funny to me. So I'll say it. It's my channel. Okay? Um, my mama, when we would go and buy bunches of greens and stuff, my mother would say, um, like when the cashier would um, ring up the greens and stuff and be a leaf and she get ready to throw it away. I'm say, oh no, I paid for that. Mm -mm, we eating that green. We eating that leaf. Put that in the bag. Put that leaf in the bag. We are eating that, okay? 
so I try to make sure I get all my little, every little bit helps. Every little bit, every little bit. Yeah. My mother was, was raised by people that uh, came out of the Depression, that, that lived through the Depression. Was raised, my grandparents lived through the Depression. So, I'm going to wait. Here's the second bag. And they will all fit in this pot once this. So, you take your time and just work it in there. Because it makes its own broth. And that flavor is like no other. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, this smells good already. It smells good already. Already. Look at that. Smells good already. Look at all that meat going just. Woo. See that? I wanted to make sure you guys could see it good. When I was um when I was younger, when I was younger, my mother uh would have us chopping up onions and garlic and stuff and she would use fresh onions and garlic in her greens instead of the onion powder and the garlic. Y'all can hear that? You hear that still that crunch? Greens. Woo! So fresh. Mm-hmm. When you take your time and you do that preparation and they are squeaky clean. They are squeaky clean. Guys, remember, if you go back and look at the video when I showed you the prep for these greens, these are the greens that I put in the bag. When I showed you the prep for them, I told you that you wash your greens. And uh, washing meaning that you put salt in the water and you're using cold water and you wash them. Um, not using any kind of detergent. Do not use any kind of... Do not. Use any kind of detergent, soap, or anything like that. Do not. When I say wash, I mean you're washing them. Uh, you're, you're literally rinsing off the. Um, you're rinsing off the, the dirt. I mean the grit, the excess grit, the, the grit that is on, not the excess, but all, the grit off of the greens. Okay, and I use salt, and you can uh, also put. Uh, vinegar in your water while you're washing them okay but i use salt okay all right now i'm working this down in there bag number two oh i wish we had smell a vision you guys could smell this look at all that meat and bone that ratio yes Smoke. It's gonna have that smoke flavor in there from the smoked turkey tails. Yes. You see that? I got him. He's trying to jump. He's trying to stay out the pot. I'm trying to put him in the, give him a nice hot bath. So I washed these greens until there was no more grit in the bottom of the sink. When you take your greens out, I showed you how to do that. When you take your greens out, how to um. Do not disturb the water when you take your greens out. Just take your greens out, and once you take them out, then you take the, uh, you know, take the drain out so that the water can drain. Take the uh, the stopper out so that the water can drain out. When you take the stopper out, that's the only disturbance. Do not go back in. Don't try to swirl or nothing. Just let the water go down. Let it all drain out of your sink, and then you'll be able to see if there's grit in the bottom. And if you can't see it, take out the time. Take your hand and rub around it. And if you feel any grit, wash again. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. Now I'm about to. I'm gonna put this. Put a few of these in. These are the turner bottom. That's about. Oh, that's about one turn bottom. Okay, I remember. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Anyway, uh, there was a young lady that uh, we had a potluck and she came and she thought that I had put potatoes in my greens. She thought I put potatoes in my greens because 
she saw the um she saw the uh the turnip bottoms. I guess she had never had turnip turnip greens with the turnip bottom. Maybe that's what it is. But when you add the turnip bottoms in with your greens, it gives it, it takes it to a whole nother level. Uh, again, if you watch the previous videos, you'll see when I used when I was a younger, uh, when I was a little girl, I should say, you could go to the store in a regular like neighborhood store and buy turnip greens with the turnip bottoms on them. Now, when you go in the store, you just have the turnip greens and they sell the bottoms separate. Well, the people who don't know that are going in the store and thinking that turnip greens look like that, but it has a bottom to it. And I showed you what it would possibly look like if you would go like to the farmer's market. And sometimes even at farmer's market, they won't have uh, the bottom in there. Ooh, guys. And, and this is packed down greens, okay? Look at that. Yes. And I'm going to let this cook on a six, on a medium. I'm going to bring it to a boil, then I'll let it, and I'll take it down to a medium. Uh, and let's put the last of the turnips in there. And I had the turnip soaking over here in cold water. Ooh, these taste so good. Gosh. Oh my goodness. You you have never you if you've not tried it with the turnip bottoms, ooh, you wondering why I can't get that taste that grandma had. That's why. Because you gotta add them turnip bottoms in there. Yeah, buddy. And the reason why I put the Worcestershire sauce in there, because the Worcestershire sauce has all those different spices that you see that people put in their greens. Yeah. And when you go to the store, <laughs> let me tell you something. When you go to the store and you buy those mixes, you know those mixes they say uh, seasoning for greens and seasoning for uh, uh, beans and things like that. I don't knock it if you don't know how to do it. But I'm telling you, you don't even have to do that. You have those seasonings in your pan, in your pantry, in your uh, seasoning rack, because it's just simply onion powder, uh, garlic powder. Uh, it'll have a little paprika in it. It'll have brown sugar. It'll have celery salt in it and some uh, salt. Then it'll have all them different chemicals in there that they use to preserve it with. Okay? Well, if you do it this way, then you don't have to do all that extra. Okay? Just add your own. Put your own in there. Woo-hoo! This right here, I'm going to let it cook down. I am going to let it cook down. I think I'm going to take some of this some of that broth off before it start really cooking, okay? Give me just a second. I'm gonna take some of that broth off. Take some of that broth off. Take some of this broth off. Wait a minute. Let's be very, very careful, y'all. Told, I told y'all I don't waste the. So this broth, I can use this broth to make the next. Cause I have to. Um, I have to cook greens for uh, a young lady that's in our church, and she is on uh, dialysis. She goes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So. The way I help her, like for holidays and sometimes even during the week, is um, I'm trying to make sure I get my all my goodness back. Even sometimes during the week, I'll cook dinner because she has children. I'll cook dinner for her. Um, I'll cook a full meal. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this. I cook a full meal for her. 
Yeah, I wanted to take some of that broth off. That was a little bit too much. Yeah. That was a little bit too much. I took out about four cups. Because um, it didn't have that much water. But remember when I told you that the greens make its own broth? It has, the greens have water in it. So, um, I kind of underestimated. Apologize. Well, good I did so that I can show you how to do that. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Oh, my goodness. This smells so good. So, now we're going to let these cook. And, uh, um, whew. thank you, Jesus. I'm going to put these over here because I am going to cook some more greens, another pot of greens for the young lady for her uh, Thanksgiving meal. She'll have, um, I think she's going to have the Trinity. Hers is going to be the collard greens because I promised her I would get some of the collard greens out of my garden. I have a patio garden, guys. Um, uh. When I say country, I don't mean country in a bad way, okay? However, I have been growing. I, when, I, when we lived in the house before, in 2017, there was this great hurricane that came through Houston, Texas and flooded out my house, and it got up to like nine feet of water in the house, and so it destroyed the house. It shifted the house off its foundation, so we had to move out of there, and from 2017 to now, We've been living in a house. We've been living in an apartment. Still, and it's not a good time when we got, once we got ourselves, our bearings together, then it wasn't a good time to be buying a home because of the pricing here. It, I, I'm sure all over America, but for sure in Texas, specifically in the Houston metropolitan area. So, uh, we've been in, a, been in an apartment and I still, because I still like having fresh certain things I like to grow myself, it, it helps me relax and keep keep me calm, uh, centered, especially in 2020. So I have collard greens. I should take you outside to see. You want to go outside to see why these cook? Let's go see. Let's go see. Come with me. Come with me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to come and look. We're going to go on the patio. And let's see. Woo! I want to show you. Ooh, it's bright out here. See? Look. These are my collards. See my collard greens? Whoa. I'm going to pick these. And uh, she'll have these. These are my lemons. That The lemons uh, pieces. The little sprouts that I got out that I'm going to plant. I got the stuff. This is my um, sprouts. Uh, spearmint and that is mint mint spearmint these are um, my bell peppers let's see if we can find one on there here's one trying to grow you see him can you see him that sunlight okay that's my lemon tree and here's the lemons they're turning they're turning yellow you can see them look at them they turning yellow so that's my lemon tree those are pineapples this is um, cauliflower, some old pineapple, jalapenos. It's got some peppers on it too, look. Can you see them? Yeah, jalapenos. Uh, up, uh, what else? Oh, and that's my aloe vera. Guys, let me tell you something. I've been a little upset about a few things. I got a very small, I'm on the third floor, if you can see. I'm upstairs on the third floor. You see downstairs? See downstairs. I'm upstairs on the third floor, uh, growing, still growing. It helps me keep my mind uh, centered. You know, yes, I'm in God. I also know that I need to do some things to keep me centered. So that's why I do that. But these collard greens, they are gorgeous. Look at them. Yes, I got them in a really big pot. I had tomatoes and um, and some onions, onions and garlic what else did i have oh i had the yellow spring squash and i actually learned how to do that by uh one young lady showed me how i saw her garden really and i was like oh i'm gonna try that 
and she actually did the did her cucumbers and put them in a tomato rack and let them grow up instead of grow out on the land like what I used to do when I was at the house. And so I did that and I had some spring the yellow spring squash as well. So I think next year I'm going to do the spring squash and the uh zucchini and cucumber. Yes. Okay, let's go back in. All right. Just wanted you guys to see. I wanted you guys to see that. Uh, don't. Yeah. I want you guys to see what I uh, was doing. Oh, come see. I'm going to wash my hands. I want you guys to see what's happening right here. Look at what's happening. Woo. Oh, if you can smell it. Oh, if you can smell it. If you can smell them greens cooking. <laughs> 